Hi, this is Doug Joseph with Design 8 Studio with a continuing update on our work toward a plasma CNC cutting machine. Today we're just doing some assembly on the torch mount, attaching it to the Lowrider 3 main core. I try to always remember to pre-thread the nylon on the nylock nuts by holding the nut in a controlled environment with pliers before I try to ask it to allow me to coax the screw in when the nut is way down deep in that capture slot and could possibly be a little bit crooked, tempting it to have the screw cross thread. Nylon is often thought of as a flexible plastic you can print with, but it's surprisingly hard. Well, I'm looking at this and realizing that I may have to remove these bearings, these 608 bearings before I can get nuts down inside these slots. These slots are partially covered by the bearings. I seem to have assembled this thing in the wrong order. Um, maybe I'll just leave those two off and only do the top slots. I was already considering only doing the bottom slots and leaving the middle ones undone. Okay, so just to recap, I apparently did things in the wrong order and uh, assembled these 608 ZZ bearings into place before putting my nuts, my M5 nuts into the capture slots. And these 608 bearings actually block part of the entrance to those capture slots. I'm going to spend a minute or two seeing if I can fiddle a nut in past that. I really don't care to remove these um, 608 bearings just trying to get these two more in. I was already considering doing only the two top screws and the two bottom screws and leave the middle ones undone. And I may go with just these two and leave these two undone. Um, actually kind of overkill to have six screws on here, but there were already six screw holes in place on the core, so I thought I would leave the possibility for that. I think I can get one in sideways. It's just a question of whether or not I can get it straightened once I get it in sideways. And that is really not a given. Okay, so <clears throat> after trying for a mo few moments, I don't think I can get one to go in sideways and then turn it straight after being in there. And it looks like that the length of the screw needs to be a 25 instead of a 30 because the screw would actually come out against the 608 bearing. 
Let me just mention briefly why that is. So I need this plate to be able to slide freely. So I did not have a lot of uh, room for screw heads to be sticking up. And this part at I think five millimeters thick, this uh, mounting plate is exactly as thick here as the original Lowrider 3 router uh, ring mounts were at this mounting point. But I had to, in an earlier iteration, I didn't have any countersink holes, um, any countersink wells, but that was having screw heads stick up, which was creating a collision with this part and needing to slide. So I created countersink wells and that ate up part of the five millimeters and that has the 30 millimeter screw going too far and colliding with this bearing in the back so if you do put uh, if you do print this part from a link in the description and you do put in uh, screws in the bottom having done it in the right order you'll want to use 25 millimeters instead of 30 millimeters on the screws my thought at this point is uh, lateral force is what I'm more concerned about at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of 25s in here, even without any nuts on the backside to tighten, just simply to provide kind of linchpin against uh, lateral forces. But I think these two that I have in, which are in good and snug, I think they're going to hold it just fine. Okay, so it just so happened that the way I got this made is that this piece, the metal plates in it are closer to one end than they are the other. So there is an up and a down to this piece. And I want to make sure that I'm getting it right. That way is up. So it needs to be mounted like this. I guess that instead of saying upside down, I should have said I almost mounted it outside in. There you have it, floating Z mount completed and set up for the Lowrider 3, mostly printed CNC. All right, I'll be working on other aspects, hopefully on camera. And until then, this is Doug Joseph with Design Aid Studio. And if you would like to, please click like and subscribe. And I wish you happy making.